Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to flash a custom recovery image on the T-Mobile G2X. Okay, so before you begin, you must have done our how to route the LG G2X procedure right here. So you can click on that link. Once you're done with that procedure, you can come back to this procedure and continue. Okay, so now you need to download the required files. This is the recovery flasher and the drivers. So we're going to click on this link here. So we've brought them to the developer's page here. And then click under download. And download that file to your computer. Okay, so then you're going to right click that .rar file. And click, ext click extract files. Now, if you don't have the option to do that when you right-click, uh, it means you need to download WinRAR. So, Google W-I-N-R-A-R, download it, install it, and then when you right-click that, you'll have that option. Then we're gonna click OK. And that should extract it to its own folder. with an APX folder and an NV flash folder inside. Okay, now we're gonna turn off the phone. And we're gonna take out the battery. Okay, now with the battery out, we're going to hold down volume up and down at the same time. Probably easier to do it this way. While those are being held, we're going to plug in the device. Do not let go of the two buttons until on your computer it says new APX device detected. Okay, then on your computer you're gonna go to start device manager, you're going to type into the search box, then click on that. Then we're going to see APX with a little exclamation point next to it. We're going to right click that, hit update driver software, select browse my computer, click browse. And now we're going to look for the folder that we extracted earlier. this one, the one-click G2X recovery, and click on the APX folder, hit OK. Make sure include subfolders is checked, hit next, say install this driver software anyway, and wait for it to install this driver. Okay, so now we're going to unplug the phone, wait a second, and then plug it back in. Okay, then we're going to go to the folder that we extracted earlier. We're going to double click to open the NV flash. And then we're going to look for the one click recovery flasher.exe in here. We're going to right click it, run as administrator. It should pop up a warning. If it doesn't, no problem. Okay, then we're going to unplug the device again, hold down volume up and down at the same time again and we're going to keep holding them plug in the device again and keep holding the buttons for the next step okay and then while you're still holding those two buttons we're gonna click on flash clockwork mod recovery 3.0 point etc and it should begin to flash Once it says SW upgrade on the device like that, you can let go of the two buttons and set it down. Okay, then in the command prompt here, it's gonna say press any key to continue. So we're gonna click that and hit enter. After waiting a few seconds uh, with this screen on, you're gonna unplug it from the USB cable. 
Okay, after that we can put the battery back into the phone. Put the back back on. Okay, and then with the phone off and the battery back in, we're gonna hold down volume down and power at the same time. Keep holding it. So a little orange Android word appears, then you can let go. And this puts you into recovery mode. And now using this recovery mode, you can perform backups, you can flash kernels, you can flash new ROMs, etc. Um, for how to do all that, just go to the next procedure linked at the bottom of this one uh, for how to flash a custom ROM. Uh, click on that and follow that procedure to continue. Thank <laughs> you.